Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we'll be talking about the problems of Bilib Weekly Contest 9.4 and uh, the problems are very much simple. The first problem is uh, totally based on implementation while the second problem uses the concept of uh, sortings and hash set and the third problem is based on the binary search while the fourth problem is totally uh, based on the counting permutations uh, using some uh, combinations method like binary exponentiations also we are going to use that so in this video we will be just talking about the first problem maximum enemy forts that can be captured okay so uh, let's try to understand this problem in detail so uh, in this problem you have been given an array uh, array of uh, forts uh, which contains n distinct places where forts of i can have only th any three values so if forts of i is uh, minus one so it means that uh, there is no fort at this position let me write down no fort and if forts of i is equal to uh, zero it means that enemy has captured this uh, place enemy has captured okay and if uh, fort of i is 1 it means that uh, you have captured this uh, place okay you have captured okay so uh, what we want to find in this array is something like this so uh, like uh, you have uh, you have got the idea what type of array we would be having so we would be having array of uh, like minus 1 0 0 1 one like anything we we can have like each of the elements of the array let's say array of i is going to have only these three values 0 1 and minus 1 okay so uh, you have to find out a consecutive set of integers which are 0 so you know 0 uh, means that the there is an enemy fort at the ith position so you have to find out any consecutive set of integers any sub array which contains all the elements as 0 and the uh, element that is present to the next position is either 1 or minus 1 and element present either to the uh, to the position to its left of the sub array is 1 and minus 1 such that uh, 1 should be present like both uh, position must not contain 1 and both position must not contain minus 1 okay so it uh, so the array uh, sub array would be something like this uh, like set of zeros then we would be having either 1 or minus 1 over here or we are uh, going to have this type of sub array okay so you can see both positions must not contain 1 or minus 1 you can see either 1 or minus 1 is present over either side of the set of consecutive zeros okay so if you look out the problem statement once again uh, while moving the army all the enemy forts that came in the way are captured and the army travels over the enemy forts only okay so enemy forts uh, we need to travel to the enemy forts only it means that array indexes array values uh, which are actually zero okay formally for all k where min of ij less than k uh, less than max of ij where forts of k is equal to zero okay now you have decided to move your army from one of your forts at position i to an empty position j okay so uh, you are trying to uh, move uh, from one of the position to the other position so uh, like uh, one po one of the position should be one because you are moving your army from one of your forts and one of the forts is going to be under your command then that array value is going to be denoted by array of i equal to one and you are going to move to an empty position so it would it must be denoted by minus one okay and you have to return the maximum number of enemy forts that can be captured in case it is impossible to move your army or you do not have any un fort under your command return zero okay so let's take an example like this array okay <clears throat> so we'd be having one zero zero uh minus one then we are having four times zero and one okay so the problem is that you have to jump from position i to position j such that i is under your command under your command and j is not under your command not under your command and when you move from position i to j like all the elements that are present over here are going to be the forts of the enemy that is array of k must be equal to 0 
for each k for every k that belongs to i plus 1 to j minus 1 okay so you can see uh, these uh, type of sub arrays are valid you can see all the uh, elements had having of type enemy force and we are jumping from a uh, this position to this position okay so you can see such type of like maximum number of enemies are captured is going to be 2 which is going to be set of consecutive zeros and here also we have one more type of sub array you can see this sub array where we are jumping from this position 1 to this position minus 1 uh, you can see 1 is being occupied by you and minus 1 is an empty position so you are jumping from a uh, kept your command position to its empty position and these set of 4 enemy forts are going to be captured hence your answer is going to be 4 which is the maximum number of enemy forts which are going to be captured okay so let's discuss the approach to solve this problem so what we are going to do is we are going to just uh, iterate let me write down the approach first approach okay so iterate in the array from left to right left to right and whenever uh, you are having set of consecutive zeros like something like this try to check whether uh, the elements that are present to the left of that consecutive zero and the element that are that is present to the right of that consecutive zero that is this one and this one is having a type one or minus one or minus one and then one if we have such element type then we can say then we will maximize our answer let's say answer will denote maximum number of uh, enemy force that is going to be captured max of answer comma let's say it is going to be denoted by count count then you will be having the maximum answer okay so uh, let's look out the code how it is going to be implemented okay so we have n as four size and answer as zero and count as one so we will iterate from 1 to n so we will initialize, initialize count from 1 because we have taken index 0 if force of i is equal to force of i minus 1 let us count that position let, let us count that uh, consecutive characters so if we have a mismatching character then we will check uh, uh, the previous character is should be 0 like whenever we have some mismatching character like this if you look out uh, if you look out over here here our character will mismatch because 0 and uh, minus 1 then we will check if force of i minus 1 is 0 uh, because we should have a set of consecutive same characters uh, same elements of type 0, uh, type zero. now we will check i minus count minus 1 should be positive because we need to check this position also uh, we need to check this position also so we will check if this position exists uh, okay then uh, force of i should be 1 or force of uh, like force of i should be 1 and force of i minus count minus 1 is going to be minus 1 or there is two possible uh, there are two possible ways either 1 minus 1 or minus 1 1 so we'll check both these conditions if this if condition holds true we'll maximize our answer answer equals max of answer comma count and then we will initialize count as again one so this will uh, check out for each sub array each valid sub array that we are looking for so the time complexity for this approach is o of n and space complexity comes out to be o of 1 okay so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video